Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. Just documenting software update version 2023.2.10 here in Sydney, Australia for our Tesla Model 3 performance. This is the first 2023 software update release and just the one uh, release note for today, which is uh, sentry mode lighting. So let's have a look at that. Sentry mode lighting, when a threat is detected, sentry mode will softly pulse the headlights to indicate that your vehicle is recording video. The pulsing stops after 60 seconds or when the vehicle is unlocked. All right, so let's test it out right now. Okay, so I'm near the car now. All right, there we go. See the lights pulsing away there. It's apparently going to stop after 30 seconds, but yeah, so that's different from the uh, flash that the lights used to do when uh, Sentry Mode went off. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Is this uh, less obvious, more obvious, better, worse? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. One more time. All right, everyone, we're just going to go for a quick drive today just to make sure there are no uh, new bugs or anything like that on our quick drive and uh, one thing I do want to test out is uh, the uh, automatic indicator mode because last time there were some comments around uh, roundabout usage and we'll see whether that works with uh, the automatic indicator mode on alright so we're also testing out some new uh, glasses as well today. Uh, these are 4K video glasses. I will try to keep my head as still as I can because I don't want to make any of you seasick. But let me know in the comment section what you think of it. Okay, coming up to a roundabout now. So uh, what we'll do is indicate right and then we'll indicate left out of the roundabout as is required in Australia or in New South Wales at least. So right turn. So going around the roundabout, and then let's go left. Well, okay. So you still have to um, re-indicate as well. So interesting there. Let's see what happens when we go straight through here at this roundabout. And I'll look to my right very slowly so we don't make anyone too sick. There we go. Okay, and then we'll indicate left out. Okay, so that obviously works, which is fine. And then we'll do one more indicate to the left out of this roundabout. Make sure that's all good. We don't expect there to be too much of a problem indicating left at a roundabout. Okay, looking to my right again. There's a car coming. Turning my head slowly. Okay, and then turning left. Okay, this seems to work okay. All right, well, that's the indicator tests. Um, what we'll do now is uh, head out onto a main road and then we'll do uh, some more indicator tests on the main road. See you shortly. Uh, see that? So that I indicated left uh, to come out of the roundabout and it didn't stop uh, indicating which uh, which is okay I don't think it would have done that previously anyway so there you go the roundabouts you still have to uh, be very careful with the auto automatic indicator mode but when you're turning left into a lane like that the indicator uh, clicks off or flicks off once you've entered your lane all right, let's turn left here. Well, having said that, uh, I wanted to go into this lane to turn left, and the uh, indicators uh, flicked off, didn't it? So, all right, well, that's good to know. Uh, let's do some more tests on the main road. But in the meantime, I just want to quickly show you this product here from Otterford. This is the uh, Model 3 Sunshade. It's called the Full Shade Sunshade, and uh, it's also available for Model Y as well. And it definitely keeps out the sun from your glass roof. So in case you find it too much in your car, then you can use this product here. Uh, please use my coupon code TeslaTom. That'll get you 20% uh, off at the moment off this product from Otterford. And details will be in the video description below. 
Okay, so on the main road now, and uh, we will engage autopilot like this, double tap in the right stalk. Alright, hopefully you can see my screen there. These blue tram tracks there indicate that autopilot is on. And we will do a left indicate like this. Okay. You see how um, when I did the lane change, the um, uh, indicator went off. Uh, I think I must have turned too vigorously as well because autopilot clicked off as well. So let's try that again one more time. Okay, autopilot is on. Let's uh, indicate to the left lane now. Okay. You can see the uh, blind spot monitor came off. Right, so obviously it still works on autopilot. Let's take off autopilot again. And let's indicate back to the right lane now. Okay, so right lane. Once I'm back in, and the indicator goes off as well. And each time I've been actually uh, using the full flick up and down. Someone did ask in the last video, now that uh, there's automatic indicator mode, does it matter whether you use half or full? And it looks like it probably doesn't now, because um, if I use the half click again, to do this one more time, half click this time. Okay. There you go, so same thing, same result. Clicked on a few times and then it clicked off. So whether you use half click or full click, and because I don't want to turn my head too much, um, I'm actually relying on the blind spot monitor uh, for that uh, lane change. So you know what? This has been a good test as well, to see whether the, the blind spot monitors are effective because my human instinct would kick in anyway and turn my head to check my blind spot. But because I don't want to turn my head too much for you guys, when I'm recording this using my 4K video glasses, uh, I'm trying not to uh, turn my head too much, relying on the blind spot monitor there. So that's cool. That's very cool. One more lane change to the left. And again, once I make that lane change, then I'm good. Good to go. All right, well, that's uh, been quite a helpful test, hasn't it? Um, and hopefully, again, hopefully you'll uh, find these video glasses helpful. If there's too much bounce, then I might have to go back to the GoPro, but just testing these out for now. Uh, let me know how you find them in the comments section below. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Just a quick uh, software update release video for today. Uh, thanks so much, and until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging.